Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakak, Wadash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a few scriptures going into this baby formula shortage that's taking place all across Babylon the Great. And also this famine that's brewing. All right. Uh, one of the scourges Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is going to use to punish the world for their evil. And the brunt of these calamities that are prophesied to befall this planet Earth in these latter days are going to fall on you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Because of your lack of obedience and willingness to repent and return back to the Holy One of Israel. And you woman of the of the tribes, you gonna catch it bad, man. You, your and your children. <laughs> you see, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, men, women, and children, if you ain't got that the wah. Spoken of in the book of Ezekiel, the ninth chapter. You out of there, man. So through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, I have two videos uh, that I came across through the spirit. And ironically enough, uh, it's two, <laughs> it's two Jake women, man. Stressed out, mouth open. You know, don't know what to do. And and, and they're in a they're in a straight. Why? Because they trust in Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, man. And they don't trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Before I grab these clips, let me grab this quick precept. In the book of Isaiah, the 32nd chapter, starting at the ninth verse, and it reads, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless woman. For the vintage shall fail. The gathering shall not come. Desperation is growing across the country over the baby formula crisis. This is it. Darice Browning is down to just a few cans of the special formula that her two kids need to thrive. They both have dairy allergies. I am extremely desperate. I'm so desperate that I'm using the recalled formula that's also expired. Are you scared? Absolutely. I either feed them and possibly run the risk, or I don't feed them and they still don't get the nutrition that they need. Did you hear what she said? She's using the expired recalled formula. No wisdom. And it would be Jake. With a blonde wig on. With no knowledge, man. If she had any kind of sense, she would breastfeed her kids, man. But no, you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American woman, you want to rely on your father, Evil E. You'd rather use his synthetic form of breast milk versus your own natural uh, 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 lactating breast, man. That's foolish, man. Because it doesn't matter, you know, what they're using to make these baby formulas. It's not going to be better than the natural breast milk for the child, for your son or daughter, man. And that's point blank, period, man. You see? <laughs> and you daughters of Israel, you're going to learn today, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to teach you, man. But you heard what she said? No wisdom. Let me bring that back. 
I'm extremely desperate. I'm so desperate that I'm using the recalled formula that's also expired. Are you scared? Absolutely. I either feed them. Bro, let me get Job 39 real quick. I got to grab this real quick. Salakia. The book of Job chapter 39. In verse 16, and it reads, She is hardened against her young ones, as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain, without fair right. She's taking a risk to feed the kids, uh, to, to feed her sons. Expired recall formula, man. Versus whipping out the breast and making it happen. She's, 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 that's no wisdom, man. She should have been feeding them, she should have been breastfeeding them from the gate. Hey, you got two of them. One for each breast, man. Right? That's why you got two. Verse 17. Because Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai have deprived her of wisdom, neither has he imparted to her understanding. And you can clearly see. You, you woman, man, you lack wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. This is why a woman must be led. You see? Otherwise, they'll be led astray, man. Let's go back to the video. And possibly run the risk, or I don't feed them, and they still don't get the nutrition that they need. Some panic parents are even turning to YouTube where searches for homemade formula have spiked over 200% this month. Valerie Valentino makes her own formula for her seven month old son. It's made of whole cow's milk, whey protein, olive oil, and many other ingredients. I just add it all into the blender and I mix it up and then it's ready to go. She's hearing from lots of moms desperate for her recipe. It's not just any recipe off the internet. It's high quality ingredients. Despite the baby formula shortage, pediatrician Diane Hess strongly discourages parents from making their own homemade versions. Babies in the in the old days actually died from homemade formula. That's why we have formula and that's why we have regulations. Parents are not chemists. Other well-meaning parents are making their supply last longer by diluting it with more water than directed. But Dr. Hess warns this too is very dangerous. Your baby can have real nutritional deficiencies and it could even lead to seizures. One thing you can do if you're desperate for baby formula is talk to your pediatrician. They may have enough formula samples on hand, although the shelves at our pediatrician's office were almost empty. So everything else is gone. We've given everything away. The White House is promising to fix the problem, which they partly attribute to hoarding. That We do not want parents, mothers, families out there to be stressed and worried about feeding their babies. I think it's a huge public health crisis through and I got another video too let me um David Herndon sitting over there he remembers that and it this one right here Tonight, we want to begin with a crisis many say shouldn't be happening here in the United States of America, a struggle for parents to get baby formula. We learned today that the White House is now scrambling to find a solution to the country's worsening shortage. President Biden spoke earlier with retailers and manufacturers and is trying to import more supplies from other countries. They keep bringing up the White House and they're scrambling and they're doing this and they're doing that. Hey, man, this is all out of chaos, man, as we know. That's Akiyama and Akwaf. That have been endowed with the spirit of Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. We know damn well that they're behind this whole shortage of formula, man. Just like how they're behind the shortage of food, man. The inflation and shortage of food, man. You know, ultimately, uh, you know, Proverbs 21 and 1. You know, it's Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai turning the heart of the king wherever he's, he, he will. You see? But the point is, they're trying to seem like, make it seem like they want to help. When it's a problem they created, man. But this is what the devil does. He's a deceiver. 
Nationwide, parents are doing whatever it takes to feed their babies, message boards, social media, and offering to swap formula. We're hearing stories from moms like one in Texas today who usually gets formula for free from social services, but she says they've been out of stock for two months. In eight states and here in D.C., more than 50% of all formula products were out of stock, and an additional 28 states have stock shortages of more than 40%. Doctors and health care workers are urging parents to contact food banks or physicians' offices, and the big warning tonight, do not water down formula to stretch supplies. We have a lot of news to get to tonight, and CBS's Adriana Diaz will start us off. For 19-year-old Jaylene Oreana from Houston, getting baby formula required a three-hour drive to Austin. It's hard physically, mentally, financially. Sometimes I do cry at night. Ore See that? It ain't even nearly as bad as it's going to get, man. It, this is just a sprinkle of the calamity that's coming upon you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that refuse to turn back and repent, man. And she already up crying that night, man, over some baby formula, man. Wait until you see your, your kid pining away, man. Wait until you see yourself pining away. You, you crying in vain right now. It's going to get 144 times worse, man. Anna paid $120 for three cans for her six-month-old, Jasseli. She's among the 75% of American parents who rely on some formula for their babies. What's the hardest part? Not knowing if she's going to have formula. The shortage intensified earlier this year when Abbott Nutrition recalled three of its top-selling formulas after four babies became ill with bacterial infections. That prompted the shutdown of its largest plant in Michigan. With empty shelves, parents are looking online, only to find eye-popping price gouging in some cases. This 27-ounce can of specialty formula usually costs around $40. It's now going for $129. The search is so widespread that social media groups have been created to connect people with extra formula with those in need. Ali Seckel runs the formula exchange. They're having to drive several states over. They're having to ask friends and family. They're having to switch formulas like all the time. Um, and some babies are fine with that, others not so much. Pediatricians like Northwestern University's Dr. Joshua Wexler in Chicago are warning parents not to water down formula or follow recipes to make homemade formulas, which are dangerous. There might be a lot of issues there that could lead to problems for babies affecting their growth, um, affecting their uh, ability to stay hydrated properly. So it's definitely not something we would encourage. That's why Oriana bought extra formula that she plans to ship to other moms who asked for help online. Why are you going that extra mile for other moms? I know how it feels. You know, if they can't find it, I mean, if I find it, obviously I'll get in for them. And Adriana joins us now. I mean, my heart breaks for so many of these families, people with young children like yourself. I mean, what is Abbott Laboratories doing? No, it don't, devil. Your heart don't break. You're a devil. Well, that's the point on that video, but this is the time we're in, man. <laughs> this is what we're coming down to, man. Scripture goes into these things, man. What did Yahweh Shai say in the book of Luke? The 21st chapter and the 22nd verse. And it reads, For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled and what's written jacob's trouble with these calamities these scourges that are going to be sent by yahweh by hashem yahweh shai are going to rest upon you so-called negroes latinos and native americans man <laughs> those of you that refuse to turn back man and your, your whole family man but woe unto them that are with child see Destruction unto them. Woe goes into destruction, man. Unto them that are with child. And to them that give suck. You see, your little ones, man. In those days. For there shall be great distress in the land. And wrath upon this people. Right? 
You see? When this famine fully hits, hey, the distress is going to be at an all-time high. She's talking about she's crying sometimes late at night. Hey, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are going to be giving up the ghost, man. When it, when it, when this thing reaches its climax. The heathen, too. They're going to feel it. Scripture says, what's that, Isaiah 13? The, the Yahweh Bashim is going to punish the world for their evil. You see? But these calamities and scourges are going to lay on you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. That's why it's called Jacob's Trouble. You see? <laughs> and that's why if you don't have that, uh, uh, what is it, that, uh, <clears throat> that mark of exemption spoken of in Ezekiel, the ninth chapter. Matter of fact, let's go get that. The Tawa. If you ain't got, if you ain't got the Tawa. You know, that spiritual mark of exemption? You out of there. The book of Ezekiel chapter 9, I'll start at verse 4 and it reads, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. And remember, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. See, and that mark... Is a spiritual mark. It's the mark of exemption. Let me just prove that real quick through the spirit. So there's no... Um, you know, let everything be done decently in order. Ezekiel, the ninth chapter. Just real quick. Strong's H, 8420. Tav. Tav. Anyways, the it's at the Wa. Strong's H, 8427. Tava. Tava. Salakia. I desire Mark. See? Mark as a sign of exemption from judgment. You see? So it's a spiritual mark. And if you ain't got it, you're going to be left outside the temple, man. And those death angels are going to be on your ass, man. You're going to be destroyed. Continuing on in the book of Ezekiel. Chapter 9 and verse 5. And go to the others, he said in mine hearing. Go ye after him through the city and smite. See? Everyone that doesn't have that mark of exemption is going to get. What well, smite me, man? Put the death, man. Let not your eyes spare. Neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young. Both maids and little children and woman you got you woman were brought up in, in the same breath man maids and woman man see because you women are gonna catch it man remember you outnumber men or i believe the ratio is seven to one if i stand correct you see your woman you woman the, the you the youngsters all y'all that ain't right are gonna get it man yeah, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary, right? You know, so those of the whole four elect, man, the one third, you see, only the one third is going to be able to escape. Now, of course, there's going to be, you know, there's going to be mortars, you see, but there's going to be a, a, a resilient spirit on those that have to play the role of a mortar, man. You see, and they're going to take part in the first resurrection. You know, they're not going to suffer like you two thirds, man. And like you heathen, you see, scripture says, um, the, the, the rod of the, uh, 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 wicked won't rest upon, uh, the lot of the righteous man, roughly paraphrasing. See, 
Continuing on. Then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house, right? Because judgment's gonna begin at the house of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. As it's written in the book of First Peter. Let me just go get that. Uh what's that? First Peter, the fourth chapter. Yeah, repent, Jake. Repent, time is running out, man. That door of repentance is almost shut. The book of 1 Peter chapter 4. And I'm going to start at verse... I'll just go straight to the point. Verse 17, it reads, For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. And those are those that know that they're Israelites. You see? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, I know you're Israelites, man. You see, judgment's going to start with us, man. Hey, this is why we want to, you know, we want to keep our slate clean, man. Stay obedient. And don't put our hands to wickedness. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. The end of them is gonna be doomed, man. They're gonna run head first into the pestilence, into the famine, into FEMA camps, man. Into a guillotine, into a missile. You see? But sticking to the point, <laughs> the famine's gonna take hold of y'all, man. I don't obey the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You're going to be eating your uh, food uh, by the measure, man. Scripture says that. That's Ezekiel as well. Let's go back to Ezekiel. You're going to be weighing your food out, man. You're going to be eating pizza crust and everything. What's that, Ezekiel 4? The book of Ezekiel, chapter 4. Yeah, you're out 16 and 17. Verse 16, it reads, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem. See, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Remember, Jerusalem's a people before it's a place. And they shall eat bread by way and with care. Woo, you see that? You're going to be eating cartilage off your chicken bone. You're going to be eating the, eating the marrow. You're going to be eating the whole apple. You see? You ain't going to be wasting no pizza crust in that day. <laughs> you see that? You're going to be licking the plate in that day, man. And they shall drink water by measure. You're going to become a chemist in that day, man. You're going to be, you're going to be measuring... Water. It's going to be dire straits, man. You're, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are going to be in, man. And guess what? Those of the whole four elect are going to be laughing at your calamities, man. You see? Because ultimately, that's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai laughing at you, man. Because you refuse to turn back. You refuse to be reproved, man. So now you got to learn by death, by pain, man. As it's written in 2nd Ezra, the ninth chapter, man. And they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment. You see that? You're going to be astonished. Let's get that. Let me get that. Let me get, um, let's go back to the blue letter real quick. Ezekiel 4. And 16. Strong's H. 8078. Shemamon. Shemamon. And it reads. Whoo. 
That's cold. You going to drink water by measure and with astonishment, with horror, dismay, and appallment, man. You're going to be appalled. Eyes going to be bulging. Mouth open. See that? That's a cold. Woo! That's cold. Let's continue on. I'm going to read this again from the top. The book of Ezekiel chapter 4 and verse 16. And it reads, Moreover he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by weight and with care, and they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment, that they may want bread and water and be astonished one with another. Because there ain't going to be none, man. There's not going to be no bread and water, man, no formula. Your breast's going to be done dried up because you're not eating, you woman. It's going to be over with, man. You wicked, so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans are going to pine away when this famine hits, man. And, con and continuing on. And consume away for their iniquity, see? You're going to consume away for your iniquity, man. Iniquity goes into sin on top of sin. You're going to pine away, like it says in Limitations, man. Matter of fact, let me close out there. Repent, Jake. Time is ticking. <laughs> and this, these things happened in 70 AD, man. Jake was eating leather belts, their babies, each other, themselves. You see? Hey, but there's nothing new under the sun. 70 AD is going to come back in a whole new way during Jacob's trouble, man. You see? Things written aforetime were written for our learning. Jacob's trouble is going to be on a whole different level of, 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 of famine, man. The book of Lamentations, chapter 4 and verse 9, and it reads... They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these pine away, stricken through for want of the fruits of the field. Repent, Jake, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, while you still can. Or oh, this is your fate, man. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwaf were edified. Barakata Yahweh. Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Ka Halalim La, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Kwedash, Shalom Akiyam.